I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but you know what? These opinions, they're like diarrhea. I can't keep it in anymore. Hello my friend and welcome to my channel, the place where we don't take life too seriously because none of us are getting out alive anyway. And yes, this is Sinead, ready to take a truckload of hate because I gave my honest opinion about things. And since this is 2019, if you give an honest opinion that differs from someone else's honest opinion, you are just the absolute worst. Ooh. I guess that was my first unpopular opinion. But now onto my really first unpopular opinion. I don't have a problem with the Kardashians. Kill me. I know, but I just don't. The thing is with the Kardashians, okay, I think they get a lot of hate because quite frankly, I think a lot of people are just jealous. Ooh. I know what you're thinking, but let me explain. The thing is the Kardashians make a mm load of money. They got a mm load of success for literally just being themselves. And for all honesty, yeah, would you be willing to get paid a mm load of money just for you doing you? Just think about that for a moment and then think whether it's really okay to be so hateful towards the Kardashians. On that note, I also do want to say, like, don't get me wrong, I don't think they're, like, the role models of the world. I don't think people should be looking up to them and be like, oh. I do not always agree with a lot of the choices that they've made or the life they live. But, contrary to popular opinion, you can actually disagree with someone's lifestyle and not hate them. Just putting it out there. Ooh. The next one kind of continues in the road that the first one went. I like Justin Bieber. Again, shoot me, kill me. I know. Now, to be fair, I'm not like a major believer or anything. Although I did go watch his show in Cape Town and I was seeing hot eyes. The boy can sing. But I'm not a believer, I'm not like a die-hard fan or anything, but I kind of like the dude. Again, I don't agree with a lot of the decisions that he's made, but I feel like he's very open about the fact that he wasn't exactly the best role model. I think he's very open about the fact that he's made a lot of mistakes. He was very, very young when he got so much success and so much fame, so much money. I mean, he got way too much fame and success and money that any person can cope with, while we, we're still busy freaking riding BMXs and, I don't know, eating sand. Whatever it is we did when we were four. What? I don't know, how old was Justin Bieber when he became famous? Give me a moment. 14, okay, so he was 14, a little bit older than four, but still, he was busy performing in front of millions while we were still like standing there in a garage, holding onto the shoulders or waist or whatever of your crush, swaying to Will Young's song at a garage birthday party. Okay. Don't judge the guy, that's all I'm saying. Also, I kind of like him because he got married to my girl crush. Hayley Baldwin, I mean Belieber. I mean Belieber. Hayley Bieber. Hayley Bieber. We can be friends, Hayley. The next one I'm pretty passionate about because this one just drives me up the wall. The fact that this is an unpopular opinion to begin with is something that just blows my mind. Pineapple belongs on pizza. Okay? And anyone who says pineapple doesn't belong on pizza, I have to ask, have you ever had a Hawaiian pizza? Because I refuse to believe that anyone who's ever had a Hawaiian pizza will say that pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. You know what doesn't belong on pizza? Anchovies. Or any seafood for that matter. I mean, have you seen a seafood pizza? It legit looks as if someone ate like a whole freaking bowl full of five day old seafood, chewed it up, tossed some milk in there, blended the bad boy, and then threw it up on a pizza base that someone else used to wipe their butt. <laughs> How can you say anchovies belong on pizza, but pineapple is apparently blasphemy? Get out of here with that. The next one, if you know me really well, you'll know that this isn't exactly a secret unpopular opinion that I've got. But this one I'm pretty vocal about on a regular basis. I think cats are better than dogs. 
Now don't get me wrong, I don't hate dogs, I love dogs, I really do, I had dogs growing up. If I had a backyard, I would probably have like 10 of them. I love animals in general, but if I had to, for some reason, pick either cat or dog, I'd pick a cat any day. Eyes closed, wouldn't even take me a moment. The same reason why most people don't like cats is the reason I love them. You hear a lot of people say, oh, I don't like cats because they don't do what I want them to do when I want them to do it. And then I'm just over here like, uh, okay. So you don't like something because it's not bowing to your every need, like a slave. Okay, psychopath. The fact is cats are cool because when they cuddle you and when they show you affection, you know it's because they want to and not because they're trained to do it. I mean, dogs love people because they've basically been bred to love them for like thousands of years. Cats, on the other hand, if a cat shows you love and affection, it's because it actually wants to. I love cats because they are the epitome of true love. True love is when something or someone has the ability to choose someone else but they choose you anyway that's true love if a cat shows you love and affection it's because it actually truly loves you or it's trying to earn your trust so that it can more easily kill you in your sleep the next one has to do with social media i like facebook Yes, the evil stepmother of social platforms. I like it. Maybe Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg probably knows more about you than you know about you, but I still like it. It's fun and quite frankly, still my favorite social media platform. I mean, yes, I like Instagram, yes, I like Twitter, but Facebook is still my favorite. Instagram gives me anxiety and depression. I mean, you could like wake up in the morning, feel like really good about yourself, your face is looking fine, your eyebrows are shaped and flicked and... Was that like that one meme that I saw on Facebook? They say girls these days, their eyebrows look like it's sponsored by Nike. Your eyebrows look like they're sponsored by Nike. You're just really feeling yourself. And then you go on, on Instagram for like five minutes and... Uh, self-image, self-confidence, everything just shattered. Twitter, on the other hand, is like the mean big brother of social media, seriously. People on Twitter are freaking rude and mean. I mean, if you make a mistake, Twitter will let you know. They will pretty much drag you through the mud for like weeks afterwards and really just make you regret everything that you did that led up to this point. Twitter is savage, but Facebook, Facebook is chill. Also, if you didn't have Facebook, how else would you know what your ex's ex's ex does these days? Or what you did last summer? And this one, already, the hate, I can feel it, but it's fine, I'll take it. Jason Momoa is not good looking. Nah, I'm just kidding. That man is so damn fine. He's really, he's perfect. But you know, I had to bring in a bit of shock value to shock you into watching the rest of my video. And now for another unpopular opinion, and uh, this one's gonna be deep, so... <laughs> Put on your, your goggles and your scuba gear because we're about to dive. I don't think you need to try everything to know if you like it or not. I legit, I cannot stand it when people tell you, how do you know if you don't like it if you haven't tried it? Okay, some things I don't need to try for me to know I won't like it. For example, I don't need to set myself on fire and then drive off of a cliff while listening to Bohemian Rhapsody to know that despite the fact that the music will be good, I'm not gonna have a good time. So why do I need to try it? So you know, if someone tells you, no, I don't wanna smoke that or do that or snort that or smack that, please stop telling them that don't knock it until you've tried it. In fact, let me throw a punchy quote back at you. You can't miss out on something that you don't know you're missing out on. You can smack my name on that and share that on Facebook. Since you know it's my favorite social media. On the topic of social media, please remember to go follow me. You can hit me up at Sunet van Meek. Links down below. 
But now on to my very last unpopular opinion and probably the most controversial one yet. I'm going to get so much hate for this. I'm almost scared to go there, but I'm going to. Let me just prepare myself mentally. Okay. There are only two, yes, just two, only two types of people who watch my videos. Those who are subscribed to my channel and those who aren't subscribed. And you need to make sure that you're one of those who are subscribed. <laughs> okay, so maybe that's not an unpopular opinion. That is just my way of telling you, please subscribe to my channel. At the end of the day, my YouTube family needs to grow. The more, the merrier. Make the circle bigger. So please subscribe to my channel. And who knows, you might get a shout out if you give me some uh, TLC. Yes, it's a silent T don't ask. But that actually brings me to today's shout out. I want to give some love to Christian. Thank you, Christian, for being part of my YouTube channel. Stay awesome. And remember, if ever you feel really angry and really frustrated, don't lash out. Just say bubbles because there's no angry way to say bubbles. Ciao.